Khadosha and he is my student Govind Banura. So we have made one small project uh, to enable and give some facilities to the management if the management wants to put up some notices uh, that case what they have to do that they have to send it via mail but the thing is that if i want to give this notice to the students or to the faculty the faculties have to be enabled with the mobile or smartphone but if i have to give this notice uh, that within five minutes you have to assemble somewhere uh, and uh, the faculty or the students have to do this but this case uh, the all the students or the faculties are not uh, uh, connected with the smartphone that case what i have to do so if we put some uh, big screen uh, in front of some important positions of the university and uh, um, one google calendar uh, which is connected to the mail id of the register or the vc whatever it may be who is going to give this information so what will we do that uh, uh, if the google through the google calendar if the notice is uh, posted so immediately that notice is, uh, will be uh, go to the cloud and from the cloud it will be fetched by an apk uh, from the google calendar database and it will be shown to the screen so that uh, based on this the students can get the notice and uh, act accordingly so for this what we have done that uh, is and this is our uh, this entire project is done in a raspberry pi it's a small computer you know, what you, uh, you can see that its price is only 3000 rupees so in that raspberry pi the raspbian os is installed and uh, that raspberry uh, raspbian uh, screen has been connected to this uh, laptop uh, through vnc connector so instead of this laptop we can connect it to through a uh, normal uh, um, normal uh, screen and uh, what will you do that uh, uh, we are calling the Google Calendar API over here and uh, that Google Calendar API this is the API code where we are writing this one and uh, suppose if I have to uh, connect it through uh, registers mail ID that case it will be connected through an authentication key so this key is given over there and uh, here uh, one PHP code is also written uh, that will be refreshed every after five minutes and it will fetch the contents of the Google Calendar database and it will display and uh, the display um, format may be anything that uh, up to your choice and uh, this is that uh, this is actually uh, this is actually your Google Calendar and where is the form form VNC okay and this is your uh, Google Calendar notices okay so whatever there in your Google Calendar form this Google Calendar is showing in your uh, this laptop and uh, whatever will be displayed in the notice board that will be this one okay now suppose uh, I, one notice is already uh, shown over there that is uh, the dear students please assemble at the reception by 9 30 to receive the chief guest now at 9 25 you come to know that the chief guest is coming through the auditorium so we have to receive him at the auditorium so this case if i want to give this information to the students or the every all the faculties through the mail it will not work yeah, the informations can go to them up at 9 45 so it will become a complete mess so what i can do that i will just change in my mobile so can you see this mobile uh, uh, i think you can see this okay in my mobile uh, i open my google calendar and change only instead of reception please come to auditorium or uh, please come in front of come in front of SOB building SOB building by 9.30 to receive the chief guest I saved it and uh, whatever I saved uh, that will be stored in my Google Calendar database you can see this one uh, Google Calendar database and that database will be fetched by the Google Calendar API in Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi will uh, display this notices uh, to your notice board but uh, and the thing is that you don't have to do it manually the raspberry pi notice will be refreshed in every after two minutes so you have to wait patiently for two minutes and immediately you can see that whatever uh, information is given it will be displayed immediately so not only that a single information if you want to post the multiple information so please see that um, it is now changes to the uh, students please assemble in front of the 
SOV building by 9:30 a.m. So in, uh, whatever information we want to display for the students or the teachers, whatever it may be, you can immediately display it. Now uh, it will work only on from one Google account. That Google account may be the registrar's account or director's account or VC's account. Now if you want to connect multiple persons Google account to the same Google calendar. Uh, that case so what you have to do that we have to create one common Google ID and on that Google ID all the uh, important persons who will give um, the notices uh, that will be connected and they will open through this single Google ID and they can give the notices uh, simultaneously so uh, I think uh, this will uh, and uh, for that uh, in the reception why we are using Raspberry Pi Raspberry Pi is a small uh, computer so we don't have uh, we don't need any desktop or any CPU just that, that uh, screen will be connected with that Raspberry Pi and which will not be visible even. Uh, it will be uh, mounted uh, in front of the important places. Only one single screen will be um, mounted in front of the uh, uh, important places and that will display periodically all the information. And uh, not even that if you want to uh, shut down that machines remotely that also you can do from your uh, mobile. So that's it that we what we have done and I am congratulating uh, Govind for this uh, wonderful effort that he has made. So thank you for listening.